In this video, I'll be going over Valerie AIO and how to set it up. When you first open it, you have the dashboard section, which basically shows you all your checkouts, declines, and amounts spent on the bot. And you can also see each checkout individually if you scroll on here. And then on the right hand side, you see upcoming releases. This is just a quick place to make all your tasks for the release. Just have your task group created, then go to site, go to mode, splash of course for easy supply. Monitor input would be the SKU. Size would obviously be random or whatever you want. Profiles, just select that. And whatever ones you want to select from there. And then your proxies and just hit create. But before all that, you're going to want to make sure to head over to the profile section to begin with. So once you're here, you're going to click add group and name it whatever you want. Just have it juice for this video. Just hit create. And once you create that, Hit add profile and then you're going to want to fill out all this information right here. Profile name, email, billing information, and payment of course. And once that is done, hit create. And then head over to your proxy section. Your proxy section is just like the profile section. You're just going to want to hit add group, name whatever you want. You can name it at the proxy company. I'm just going to have a proxies. And then here, just copy and paste your proxies and you can hit save. And then over here you can test it on whatever website you'd like to. Once that is done, you can head over to the task section. Once you're here, you just want to make your task group. Just gonna name it Juiced. And then you can hit add tasks and make tasks for whatever website you'd like to, Shopify, Easy Supply, or Fit Sites. It's easier if you just go through the dashboard and use their upcoming releases, but this is also an option. I'll show you guys how to set up tasks for each website. We already went over Yeezy Supply, that's all straightforward. I'll do foot sites now. You're gonna be wanting to run mode normal. Monitor input would be skew, of course. Size, whatever you like. And same deal with profiles. Just select the group that you made and then the profile in it. Profiles in it. Then you have your proxy section. Just pick whatever proxies you like and then just create tasks on that. I don't have a skew. And you have all these tasks. You want to start these tasks around like eight minutes beforehand. In the Valor Discord, they always ping when to start tasks, so I would want to make sure you guys keep an eye out on their foot sites and use fire like the easiest to set up for. And then you have Shopify. I'll delete all these to create those. Just head over. I'll do Kith for now. Step in Kith. Mode is gonna be preload one. Monitor input would be the keywords that you're using. Those are also provided in Valor or your cook group. And I'll just do plus kit. Even though that's not going to work, it's just a keyword for now. Size could be whatever you want. You could do specific if you'd like to. Monitor delay. When you're first starting off tasks on a site like Kit, you're going to want to start them around like 10,000 or 15,000, like six, seven minutes beforehand before the queue gets crazy. So just have that on like 15,000. And then profiles will be the same deal, of course. Proxies for Shopify, you could just use no proxies as long as you're not running more than two tasks on it. So create, and you're gonna start these KIP tasks, or majority Shopify tasks, seven minutes beforehand, seven to eight minutes beforehand. And then once it's 30 seconds before, you're just gonna edit it and change the delay back to like 4,000 and that will be just fine. And that's basically the setup for Kit and all their Shopify sites. It's pretty straightforward to use and they have all these sites and there's also custom sites in the settings if you'd like to have that. Then you have your capture section. This is straightforward as well. You just want to hit add harvester, click the YouTube button and sign into your Gmail. Once that is all done, you can select it for Shopify Checkpoint or whatever you're running Yeezy Supply Foot Sites. And you want to make sure this is open and have your proxy saved in there too. You can also have AYCD connected. That's going to show a green check mark if it's connected. You have your settings, what I looked over just now. You have your webhooks here. Check for updates, viewer key, and stuff. Then you have the miss section. Here you can add your accounts. Pretty straightforward to do. Just 
to add here is just copy and paste. You can add the proxy too if you need to. Email password. The foot sites monitor. It's just going for foot sites restocks. You're just going to have all the SKUs here, the website, and any sizes you want. And then you could also have a certain amount of minutes that it runs for. And same with the profile section and proxy, you just create those real quick. And they'll could just be running all the time. They also have their gift card section, which is for foot sites. And here you can check out what foot sites, just have the pin and everything. It's mainly people who are using it for foot sites, but you can use it for basically anything. But yeah, that's basically the setup for Valerie.io. This bot is super easy to set up. I really recommend you guys getting this for Easy Supply and also Shopify. It's been doing amazing in and also foot sites. They haven't missed a foot sites or Easy Supply release in forever. I can't think of the last time they flopped on there. And on the upcoming release tab, like it's so easy to set up. And in their Discord, once you get the bot, they have all the information you need to get set up and prepared for releases. Thank you for watching this Valor tutorial. If you guys would like more one-on-one -on -one help from me and other experienced botters, then I recommend you guys signing up for our cook group, Juice. We do weekly botting calls as well as provide free bot rentals for bots like Cyber and Bellox and many more to come. If you would like to give this a shot, make sure to use code YouTube for 20% off your first month via the top link in the description.